Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to install BTOP on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS, a third-party app store. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing on CosOS BTOP. It's a resource monitor that shows usage stats for processor, me memory, disk, network, and processes. Um, here's some features of it. And here's the GitHub to it too. So I made this uh, into a Docker file and um, because somebody asked it on the CosOS community, so I made it and uh, it works pretty good. So I'm going to get to installing it. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to search and type BTOP. And then and now you'll see it right here. And uh, you can go into the folder. And you can go into the Docker Compose. So the Cost OS app name is called Big Bear BTOP. And then the services and then the service underneath the services is called Big Bear BTOP. Same with the container name right here. Uh, the container name makes it so Docker doesn't have to iterate a random name. Um, so the image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no URL before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And um, this is uh, one of my images. So you can go ahead and uh, look at the image by going to it on GitHub. It's open source. Um, so... Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it'll try to restart. And then so, uh, this does need pr a privileged is true um, to get access to the system metrics. And also we need to mount proc to, uh, uh, to host and then the container to host container, host and container, and then host and container for, for local time. And then it is set to read only. Do not change any sides of this host or container. Um, so the ports are 7681. And that is on the host side. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it to like 7682 if it's available. On the container is 7681. And then now cost OS specific information to explain the volumes and the ports. And then now cost OS specific information to explain the app on the App Store. So the architectures that the Docker image supports is AMD64 and ARM64. And the Docker image is up here. So that's what that supports. Um, so the main service is Big Bear BTOP right here. And then uh, description, the tagline, the developer, the author, and then the icon, thumbnail, the title, the category is Big Bear Cost OS, so people can find it really easy by clicking the category and find all Big Bear Cost OS apps. And then port map is 7681, and that rhymes with the host port up here. And then now uh, there's a model box that po pops up before installing, and that's what this is. It's before install. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Post. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to install BTOP on my COS OS. I'm going to go to the App Store, and then I'm going to uh, go to the search and type BTOP. And now you come in, it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS because of the category down here. So I'm going to install. And then um, you can go, go here and read more about it. I'm going to say next steps. And um, what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because it is using the Docker engine. It's, all, it's also setting up the volumes, uh, the binds, and the network. 
So now we got it up and running and it's good to go. So now I'm gonna go over the app settings. So if you go up to these vertical dots right here, you can open into the web UI, you can set some tips and um, you can co uh, come down here and take that out. And then you can save, it'll reload the container and say BTOP is okay. You, you can go into t uh, tips right here and you can see it did save. Um, you can go into the settings right here. You can ch uh, change some of the settings and then press the save button. Now you can go up here to the terminal logs and you can be inside the container and then you can see the logs. This is great for debugging. You can export the Docker and pose file right here and this is formatted in the COS OS spec. Um, so I'm gonna exit out of there. You can check for updates from Big Bear COS OS and this should download uh, an update if, it, if there's an update from Big Bear COS OS on it. Um, so uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm gonna go into the UI. So you can go and uh, open it from here or you can open it from here. So now we're in here and you can see CPU, a menu, preset, the time, um, the CPU and the load average, the memory, the disk, the processes and the net and da download. Um, you can go over here and you can select a, a processes right here. So you can scroll up and down and you can also uh, select info terminate and kill and then signals so everything's fully working and it's interactive so that's a little bit about btop and how to get it on cos os so i just went over everything to get you set up with btop um this is a docker image that i created um so, so you can always look at that on big bear tech world uh the github um, so if you want to look over the Docker file or if you have any ideas on how to improve it, you can always do so uh, by starting a pull request. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.